hill that is Shimla and I've spent my childhood in the footlaps of Himalayas. Basically, I completed my schooling from DPS Shimla. After that, uh, I went to uh, Dikra Smootha, which is in Sonipat, Haryana for doing my bachelor's in chemical engineering. And after that, I went to IIT Roorkee for my master's program. Uh, my interest in research ended up in doing PhD at IIT Delhi, which I completed in 2019. So, uh, like from since childhood, I have seen my parents, basically my father and mother, uh, working hard to like where I am today. It's because of their efforts. Born in a middle class family, my parents have worked relentlessly. Uh, my father was a mathematician in a in a teacher uh, was a school teacher actually, and his school was like around forty kilometers from the city. And uh, the school was situated in such remote areas where there was no like connectivity for transportation. But he somehow wanted like every day he wanted to travel from home. So he used to start at six thirty in the morning. Then like he walked five to ten kilometers very tough hilly terrains and reached his school at ten a.m. So uh, in the last thirty five years, till uh, the time he was in his job. I saw uh, that he was uh, full of energy and he was very punctual and he has to start like 5 a.m. in the morning and then he, every day he reached his school in time and he was the best teacher. So uh, I have seen him working very hard uh, like to earn the bread and butter for our family. Similarly, my mother was working in a bank and she has worked there like for around 30 years and she uh, had to manage balance between the work life as well as a joint family. There were 10 or 12 members in our family and it was very difficult at that time for women to pursue their careers along with the family life. So she how, somehow was able to maintain a balance between all and with her courage, honesty and punctuality again she was a very like successful in her uh, banking field. So both of them have in their both of their journey, professional journey since childhood has inspired me a lot. And today what I am where I am today I am because of their efforts. So their honesty and their zeal as well as punctuality. These three things like inspired me a lot. And I always had a vision that I'll be somewhere uh, I would like to be in a place from where they could be they could feel proud about me. So this was something which like motivated me in my personal life. Uh, as I told you initially that I'm currently working as an assistant professor at IIT Hyderabad. I'm working in the department, uh, like chemical engineering department. And here I have established an independent research group where I am guiding few PhD and master level students. Uh, we are working in the area of like uh, biomass uh, to produce fuels and chemicals from waste biomass where we are utilizing both experiments and theory to develop catalysts and to improve the selectivities and conversions of the process. So uh, the people here with me are basically working in the computational field and uh, we are trying to come up with a process where if farmer like we in India we know there's a lot of air pollution which is caused due to the burning of waste biomass especially in the north if you see in winters there's a lot of air pollution problem so we here at IIT Hyderabad we are building up a technology it's a two-step process which will basically utilize that waste biomass to produce flavoring and food additives out of it and if the farmers who like burn those waste biomass, they are given an incentive, just a small setup where they can ferment it, they can actually get money out of that waste as well. So it will not only prevent the pollution of air problem, but it will also give some uh, earning to the farmers also uh, from the waste. So we have a vision of creating like value from the waste. And we are working on this process. Uh, initially, also during my PhD, I have worked on one such process, which has been, as I told you, it has been patented also. And we have a startup company incubated at IIT Delhi, where we are trying to improve the yield of that particular product. And we are like one step before like commercializing it, it will be open in the market soon. 
it is actually if we come to the scientific name it's four nona known and delta deca lectone here we are producing fernicine so fernicine so basically it will it is used as a fuel in jets so already uh, like people have uh, they have produced biofuels and they have there have been few flights in across us utilizing that uh, that component as a blend in the jet fuels so if you add 15% of that component in the jet fuels uh, you are able to fly but we uh, currently that technology is very expensive because they are using very expensive material so we are trying to build a cheap catalyst out of the, uh, like by using simulations we are first trying to figure out that which catalyst will work and what uh, what material should be used to replace that particular expensive material and so that that process can uh, the cost of that process can come a little down and it can be used more often so when i was doing my phd at iit delhi so actually my supervisor professor emily heather there uh, he motivated me a lot i was not i was initially reluctant to work in this field but as i as the years progressed and i got some publications out of it and not only publications but the process was like it can be from lab scale we could take it to the market scale so it motivated me uh, like uh, that a lot can be done more on this process in order to reach the common man and that is why i uh, like after joining here also so i am working on the same path working on the same technology and we are trying to improve it to reduce the cost so basically the motivation came during my phd uh, the thesis that i wrote there it was also based on the similar technology and that has motivated me a lot and now i am working further to improve it uh, so that it can be used by a common man of our country professor ali heder at iit delhi he has like in my professional life uh, he had a very like he played a very important role he is the person he groomed me so well during the last 5 or 6 years he has groomed me so well uh, that i was uh, i gained a lot of confidence after completing my degree there and every day i am achieving new milestones it is because of him and when i was about to join as a teacher at iit hyderabad he gave uh, like he uh, he said that shilaka always take your students first and you should always give them a higher rank because once you will join there as a professor it should not be that you consider yourself as a professor and you are not paying attention towards the need of the students students should come first because this is a bi uh, bi directional flow of knowledge between a teacher and a student and if you want to improve yourself there will be a lot of learning which will come from the students so he is the one who motivated me actually to join this field of academics and to work for the welfare of the students uh, and their output is my success basically so he is the one who actually motivated me to work in this field few years back i was offered an internship program at university of delaware usa and that program was sponsored by iusstf which is indo us science and technology forum and the department of biotechnology india i was getting a very good scholarship also i went there for the exchange program but due to my ill ill health i had to leave the program in between and i had to come back leaving behind a lot of opportunities and that i regard as my biggest failure till now but i learned that everything uh, even if you get so many things on your plate you can't have have everything so some things are are there which you can't grab so i learned a lot from that but that that i consider is as my biggest failure as well as loss otherwise i could have been like uh, there could have been so many other things which that internship have have brought in my professional life but due to my ill health i missed it <laughs> i always like uh, advise the younger generation to follow their passion and to learn from their mistakes and don't let like people suppress your voice so because your voice can be the wind beneath someone's and yours wind and i always say that be brave be bold and get ready to 
throw the sparkle of change everywhere so uh, my advice uh, and i always try to motivate the young girls that they should listen to their inner hearts and pursue the career they want to be in although there will be so many obstacles coming in between but they should not stop so you have to be brave as well as uh, courageous enough to take your career paths and to be to have a strong voice i'm proud of my job the way um, because this is giving me an opportunity to interact with the young generation and also to guide them how to lead the life uh, like uh, i because being your teacher i can guide my students how to lead them for the life and i'm really proud of my job actually because i'm able to uh, like read the minds of the young generation and able to shape their careers so in the right direction so i'm proud of that as i already told you that uh, because this uh, this process is based on the utilization of waste biomass and i have been in the ncr region like for the past 5 or 6 years i stayed there i was able to witness the level of air pollution that people uh, like uh, people witness every day in their life because of which they are getting so many health issues so one thing was there always in my mind that how i can reduce the this air, the level of the air pollution there because that is leading to a lot of health hazards and the only way in which i can contribute to is through my technology which is converting that waste biomass you don't need to burn it but you can use it and further you can gain like value added products out of it so it's my so the like as i'm already telling you that i always wanted to work in the field where i can reduce the level of air pollution in the ncr area and this technology aims at reducing that air pollution and secondly it is also giving farmers an incentive to uh, to uh, get more opportunities on more like economical wages out of their work so this is uh, this is how i was like inspired to work in the field of biomass we are using developing a technology based based on waste biomass the other is day to day life how we can like contribute towards sustainability so being born in the hills i always prefer walking i don't take like i don't use car or like public transport to walk uh, to go for the shorter distances i prefer to walk so that is my way of adding little to sustainability then i also don't use plastic like poly bags uh, so i go with the cl cloth bags for sh doing shopping and always carry my steel water bottle because that can also reduce the usage of plastic bottles at home we are also using electric like saving devices uh so like electric saving bulbs are available in the market these days so these small small contributions also i tell my elders my father that they can use the online mode to read a uh, news instead of going for newspapers or magazines they can use online modes these days so that can cut a little on the uh, on the uh, uh, cut the paper usage of paper and these small small efforts from our side can make a huge difference if everyone starts following this it can make a huge difference so i feel that uh, one thing is like in my lab also i it's not like doing a partiality or gender biasness but i am like uh, having students uh, i always try encourage to uh, female candidates to join under me and uh, because i i know that somewhere the women should be independent the second thing is we come across so many like uh, people from weak backgrounds also day to day life so whomsoever like a lady if she comes in contact with, with me i always tell her to educate their girl child first Uh, let them find a job and then get married because in india there is a trend once a girl complete 18 years of age 
their their parents at lower level if you see they will like uh, tend to uh, like they will get married their daughter and uh, they won't like pay much attention towards her education so i i, I always tell those uh, daily wagers or the people who come across me i do should educate your girl child let her find a job and then get married because a working woman can make a lot of difference in her family she will also earn more respect uh in the society and it will be helpful for her future as well so this is small small efforts which i keep on doing from my side i mean there are different milestones in everyone's life so finding my dream job was one of the milestone then marrying the right person was one of the milestone but recently actually i gave birth to a very handsome boy baby boy devit and he's 6 months old and after giving birth to him i realized the importance of motherhood because i'm going through that phase in my life and uh, so i just actually um, wrote a proverb also that god can't be everywhere so he created mom so her, like you know that mother's love is unimaginable and i realized that how my mother or all the other mothers out there have made so many sacrifices in their life so that their babies can laugh or they can like lead a more comfortable life so i always advise like my my advice will be to the younger generation that they should always respect their mothers who make countless countless like sacrifices for their children without making them come so this is the biggest like personal milestone which i have achieved and these are the things which i learned from you.